Hi guys, hallo Leute. Welcome back to another German session. Today's topic is this. Survival German, okay? For those of you who are only going on vacation to Germany or who are just going on a short business trip or for those of you who are only planning to stay a temporary time in Germany, Uh, this lesson is going to be very useful for you because we're not going to go very deep into the German language I'm just going to teach you the most essential phrases that you need to know in order to survive in Germany. Okay? All right, let's get started The first very important phrase that you need to know is Guten Tag Because I'm sure you're going to be using this a lot if you go into a store like a very small store um, Like a boutique or something um, you would be using that phrase or um, wherever you go uh, to greet someone um, and you're bound to greet people that who you don't know so in that case you would always be using Guten Tag all right I've covered all the different greetings in another video so I'm not going to cover all the greetings, greetings right now just the most important ones okay so we have Guten Morgen Guten Tag Guten Abend okay this is a four these are three formal greetings and then we have hello to you know people younger people kids um, Or just if you are in a more relaxed environment, you would say hallo. Um, then if you want to say goodbye, you would um, say auf Wiedersehen, all right? Uh, which is also used in a formal environment or um, whenever you're talking to strangers. Well, then we also have tschüss, which is an informal way of saying goodbye, all right? So those are the most important phrases. Guten Morgen, guten Tag, guten Abend, hallo, tschüss, auf Wiedersehen, all right? Okay, let's go over to the next point. So, um, you're going to want to say excuse me um, whenever you're asking someone a question or if you want to know the way, um, how to get to a place. Um, whenever you're asking a stranger a question, um, you want to, you will want to use the, the phrase excuse me. In German we say Entschuldigung. Entschuldigung. All right. So when you're going up to someone, you would be saying it in this intonation. Entschuldigung. Entschuldigung. All right. Okay, of course, uh, after that, you're going to have to say something. So most of the time, you're going to be looking for a place, like a train station or a subway station or a museum or a gas station, whatever. And I'm going to give you the most important um, uh, locations that you need to know, okay? So first of all, um, many tourists are always looking for the train station, okay? So in that case, you would be saying, Ich suche den Bahnhof which means I'm looking for the train station. Ich suche, I'm looking, den Bahnhof, the train station, okay? Ich suche den Bahnhof. So the complete phrase would be, Entschuldigung, ich suche den Bahnhof. All right? Entschuldigung, ich suche den Bahnhof. Okay? I'll say that very slowly. Entschuldigung, ich suche den Bahnhof. Okay? All right. Next one. Entschuldigung, ich suche die Tankstelle. Excuse me, I'm looking for the gas station, okay? Entschuldigung, ich suche die Tankstelle. Okay? Now, die is a definite article. I'm covering definite articles in another video as well. Um, if you want to say, I'm looking for a gas station, as opposed to, I'm looking for the gas station, you would be saying, Entschuldigung, ich suche eine Tankstelle. Ich suche eine Tankstelle. Okay? All right, next one. If you're looking for a hotel, you would be saying, Entschuldigung, ich suche das Hotel für Jahreszeiten. Entschuldigung, ich suche das Hotel für Jahreszeiten. Okay? I'll say that very slowly. Entschuldigung, ich suche das Hotel für Jahreszeiten. All right. Okay. Most of you are going to be looking for an ATM when you're here in Germany. Okay. So the phrase would be Entschuldigung, ich suche einen Geldautomaten. Entschuldigung, ich suche einen Geldautomaten. Okay. I'm going to say it real slow. Entschuldigung, ich suche einen Geldautomaten. Okay. Subway stations are also very common in big cities such as Berlin or Cologne or Munich, okay? So, the phrase would have to be Entschuldigung, ich suche die U-Bahn-Haltestelle. 
Entschuldigung, ich suche die U-Bahn-Haltestelle. I'm gonna say it real slow. Entschuldigung, ich suche die U-Bahn-Haltestelle. Okay, which means subway station. Die U-Bahn-Haltestelle means the subway station. Okay, now you might be looking for the city center. Okay, in German, a uh, city center is die Innenstadt. So the phrase would be, Entschuldigung, ich suche die Innenstadt. Ich suche die Innenstadt. Okay, you might be looking for a travel agency. Okay, so the phrase would be, Entschuldigung, ich suche ein Reisebüro. Entschuldigung, ich suche ein Reisebüro. Okay, I'm going to say it real slow. Entschuldigung, ich suche ein Reisebüro. Now you might be looking for a supermarket. All right, the phrase would be, Entschuldigung, ich suche einen Supermarkt. Entschuldigung, ich suche einen Supermarkt. And real slow. Entschuldigung, ich suche einen Supermarkt. All right. Um, okay, if you want to look for a bakery, you would have to ask. Entschuldigung, ich suche eine Bäckerei. Ich suche eine Bäckerei. All right. Okay, another very important phrase you will need to know how to say is, um, could you please help me? All right, this is very important. So in that case, you would be saying, Entschuldigung, könnten Sie mir bitte helfen? Entschuldigung, könnten Sie mir bitte helfen? Okay, and I'm going to say it real slow. Entschuldigung, könnten Sie mir bitte helfen? Okay. You could also say, um, excuse me, I have a question. All right? In that case, you would have to say, Entschuldigung, ich habe eine Frage. Entschuldigung, ich habe eine Frage. Okay? Now, if you're in a store and you want to know the price of an item, you would have to ask the salesperson, for instance, Entschuldigung, wie viel kostet das? Excuse me, how much is this? Okay? Entschuldigung, wie viel kostet das? Entschuldigung, wie viel kostet das? Okay? So if you want to ask if you can pay in cash, you would be asking this. Kann ich bar zahlen? Kann ich bar zahlen? Or if you want to use your credit card, you can ask, Kann ich mit Karte zahlen? Kann ich mit Karte zahlen? Okay. If you want to know if you can use a specific card, you can just name the card, okay? So you can say, Kann ich mit American Express zahlen? Kann ich mit American Express zahlen? Okay. Now you might want to ask someone what time it is, okay? In that case, you would be asking, Entschuldigung, können Sie mir die Uhrzeit sagen? Entschuldigung, können Sie mir die Uhrzeit sagen? Now, if this is too long for you, um, I understand, there's a simpler phrase you can use. You can also say, Entschuldigung, wie viel Uhr ist es? Entschuldigung, wie viel Uhr ist es? Okay. I'm going to make another video in the future about the hundreds of ways you can say thank you in Germany. Uh, there are many, many ways. I'm just going to teach you the basic ones, okay? So if you want to say thank you, it's Danke. 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 Another way of saying thank you is Dankeschön. Dankeschön. Which means thank you very much. Or you can also say Danke sehr. Danke sehr. Which also means thank you very much. Okay? So we have Danke. Dankeschön. Danke sehr. Okay? Um, now, if you're helping out someone else and he's telling you thank you very much, Dankeschön. Danke sehr or danke. You can say gerne. Gerne. Or you can say bitteschön. Bitteschön. Okay? Um, you might want to know how to say the numbers from 1 to 10. Uh, there's also another video on numbers, which I'm going to publish soon. Um, but I think for survival German, knowing the numbers from 1 to 10 is sufficient. Okay? All right. So I'm going to go through that. Eins. Zwei. Drei, vier, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to go through that real slow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? And one more time, real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's it. Okay, and one more thing. The German currency or the European currency is pronounced Euro. Euro. Okay? The EU in German is pronounced O I. Euro. Okay? 10 Euro. 10 Euros. 10 Euro. Now you can't go to Germany without knowing how to say yes and no, all right? So in German we say ja for yes and nein for no. Ja, nein. Ja, nein. Okay, that's real easy. If someone is giving you directions, he's probably going to be pointing in a lot of different directions uh, because he's going to know that you don't speak German fluently or you might not understand. So um, he's going to be pointing and he might be saying left and right a lot or straight. So I'm going to teach you those words. Links means left. Rechts means right. Links Rechts. Links. Rechts. And straight would be geradeaus. Geradeaus. Okay, one more time. Links. Rechts. Geradeaus. Links. Rechts. Geradeaus. So I hope you're able to survive in Germany. Now that I've taught you the most basic phrases, um, well, um, it, of course it's not sufficient in order to communicate on every level, uh, even for two weeks, but it's going to give you, um, it's going to make you feel more secure, I think, at least, okay? Thank you for watching, and bis bald. Tschüss!